for good measure, Jackson, you want to go ahead and spin the wheel for Dad? Oh, man. Appreciate it, man. Thank you. Oh, 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 oh. Oh! Are you cheating? Complimentary nose wax. You are I'm getting, not getting that done. You're getting your nose wax. What do you mean? Nose hairs is here for a reason. I don't even have a hairy nose. Alexa, you ready for the valve? Is he ready for me? That's the question. I'm it, man. Oh, y'all stop. It, what you need, moral support for this? Yeah. Have a seat. Uh, All right now. That's just my a nose. <laughs> Don't take my nose off. <laughs> not helping. I'm just saying. I need a drink. What? <laughs> Watch your father take this like a Jeep, bro. Are you ready, son? <laughs> Jax, I'm gonna take this like a Jeep. I'm not even gonna flinch. Ready? One, two. Good morning, good people. Guess where we at? Chicago. Yeah. You see him? That's why I got him his own bed. It's like Kung Fu Panda. Anyway, we're in Chicago for the Blueprint Men's Summit. I got my team with me, my stylist, tour manager, manager, cameraman, Jackson's chaperone, Bed hog. See that little space I got? That's why I'm up so early. Wasn't the best sleep, but um, gotta get these guys going. Hey, yo, team! Yo! Time to get up. Time to see the shot. What time is it? Time to get up. I'm jet lag. What? Early bird gets the worm, even though it's almost 12 o'clock. Let's go. Self shot you see that? You see? That's what I'm about to give you. Don't move. Don't move, right? Ready? No, 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 <laughs> no, no, no. Come on. Come on. Yeah, I know you got the shot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, Sharp lines, so you can look fresh when you go meet people. That's the key. You gotta be presentable, bro. You feel me? Yes. Yes, sir. Boy. Hmm. Uh -huh. You'll understand when you get older. You don't understand now, but you'll appreciate it later. How you think I got your mom? I had the sharpie. She wouldn't want me if I had the sharpie. You feel me? Ooh, you got the sharp and these sharp sharps. You see that? You see that? Now you're fresh. Bang. All we got to do is pick this out. Ooh, get out quick. Fresh. Fresh. Ooh, you fresh? No, you fresh. Respect the shooter. You know, one of the things I realized about traveling with my son is that boys forget everything. Don't hide. Don't hide. We in Chicago. It's almost 50 degrees out here. He forgot his coat. 
Where was your coat? On my bed. On your bed? How did you forget your coat, bro? I thought it was on you. You thought it was on you? <laughs> uh huh. Now your mother had to go all the way back upstairs just to get your coat. Always. He would forget his head if it wasn't attached to his neck. Nah, she mad. She mad at me. I got my coat on, but she mad at me. Why well, I gotta get one all the angle? She's back. Come here again. What took so long? You're on the 19th floor. Your local going up and local coming down. Jeez. Here you go. Thank you, Brosky. Cost us another 10 minutes, but I'm sure you gave him a lecture. Yeah, I gave him a lecture. You don't gotta give it to him. I got it, all right? I, I took care of it. I told him. I said, no! Right. Make sure you have your coat. Now put it on. Don't hold it in your hand. Really? Oh, Jesus. Sorry. a he-man's club that we can't be a part of. Yes. But you know what the funny thing is about this whole entire event? First of all, I want to introduce you to Marguerite. <laughs> Her company is behind putting this whole thing together in so, terms of decor and all that good stuff, so, right? Nicole Marie Events. Okay. I work for Nicole Marie Events. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, Just kidding. So it's not Marguerite, yeah. but you know. <laughs> and what's even more funny to me is that this is the men's summit, but women help them get it together. Oh, well, you know, it wouldn't be right if we hadn't been planning it. <laughs> Okay, so what are the different stations? I see we have men getting haircuts. Yeah, so we have men getting haircuts mm -hmm. all day. Um, we have a men grooming station where men are getting their ears waxed, their nose waxed. To uh, <laughs> I gotta say to the nose waxing one. Yes. Sorry, babe, but you know. <laughs> The wax That's is there. The wax in there. So after so. he's done talking inside, I want to come see you. What's your name, sir? Alexa. Alexa. Yeah. I'm bringing Deval back to see <laughs> Alexa. And I've already spun the wheel, and he gets a compl complimentary <laughs> nose wax. <laughs> no, it will be back. Zero. Thank you, Alexa. <laughs> Yes. 
You yes. have to vote. Vote. Start you DMing to. Val and be like, you have to do a vow renewal. Yes. And do it the way Kadeen originally wanted to get married. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. All right. My lips? What Alexa gonna do with my lips? Don't get jealous, okay? Don't get Not, jealous. It ain't gonna be your lips, but it's gonna be close to the lips. It's his nose hair. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Come on over. What's wrong with my nose hair? Come on over. So the other day we were in the car, right? And Deval was like all fumbling and picking. I'm like, are you picking your nose in the car? Like, are you all with the book and stuff? Do you need a tissue? And he's like, no, nah, it's my nose hairs. My nose hairs are mad long. I trimmed them. I trimmed them. So now that we are here, Deval's about to get his nose and legs. I don't even have a hairy just nose. Just because you trimmed them a little bit don't mean that you don't got nose. I don't even have a hairy nose, though. I'm just saying, I need a drink. What? I told the Val I had a whole baby at home. Oh, this always comes back to this. You yes, it does. I had a whole baby in the house. It's my time. answer all the time for the rest of our lives. Breathe in through your nose. Oh, you can't. No, don't. That's <laughs> Just the one kidding. thing you should not be doing. <laughs> <laughs> Breathe in through your mouth, out through your mouth. Ready? Crazy, right? No. Easy. No, it's I'm okay. ready for you, Alexa. Are you ready for me? I'm ready. It's all in the eyes. Good job. What more do you want from me? <laughs> Good job. You're such an actor. I love it. Give me some. Give me some. You see that? Let her peek and make sure that, that you're Go ahead, check my up. nose, Alexa. Check my nose. Clean as a whistle. I'm clean in there, baby. <laughs> Black people, we've been kept out of many industries, including sports and entertainment. And every time we've gotten a chance to get into those industries, we've dominated. Like you said, when you think of the top 10 players in the league, most of them are black, if not all of them. And so, I believe with everything inside of me, but that not just prejudice, but fear of our dominance is what has kept us out of all those industries. But, by the same token, when we have presented our skills and our talents, other people, they somehow found a way to capitalize on our abilities and limit the amount of money that we can make off of our own selves. For example, during slavery, whenever a slave created a new invention, that new invention and the money that they made from it, it automatically belongs to their masters. And so slaves, in a sense, they were their master's property, and they were forbidden from making any money off of them. Same thing is happening in college basketball. Right, you see black athletes like Zion Williamson, RJ Barrett, and others making billions of dollars for top-notch universities, but they can't even see a paycheck. They Thanks. can't get paid. Thanks. And so, college coaches, they're making millions of dollars. The university, they're making billions. If you guys ever invite us anywhere and there's ever a question of why we're late or not on time, just know that I'm always the one that's ready first. Just know. I'm always the one ready first. To you in the get back. To the vlog? You to get in the back. To the vlog. Our lift is downstairs. Hello. Oh my God.
be lying to the vlog. Got Lyft drivers waiting for us, calling to see if we still come in. Just know that I was the first one out the room. Okay, I was the first one out the room. Even a broke clock is right twice a day. <laughs> Where do you come up with this stuff? Dad sings. You're so annoying. So annoying. Anywho, you heard it here first.